Hello and welcome back to the Commander Lurpak YouTube channel. In today's video I'll be showing you how to turn your leftover sprues into tank traps and barricades for Warhammer 40k scenery. Hope you enjoy the video. If you play Warhammer then you probably have a pile of sprues somewhere. I'm reluctant to throw them away as it feels like a waste. So using a knackered pair of hobby clippers I cut the sprue into lengths one long length and six shorter ones. I then cut off any spiky or knobbly sections using the clippers and a hobby knife. This is done on all the lengths, both long and short. Once you've cleaned up all the sprue lengths, you need some super glue. I recommend Stronghold as it bonds very quickly. I glue the short lengths of sprue in an X pattern on the longer length of sprue. I put an X either end of it and one in the middle. This will form the bracing for your tank trap or barricade. You could leave it finished here as a basic tank trap or barricade. But I think adding a little bit of 00, zero gauge pre-made barbed wire is a quick and easy way of adding some extra detail to the barricade. Once happy with the length of barbed wire, I glue it into place using the super glue again. The barricade is now ready for painting. Here's my process. Step one. I base coat the whole barricade with Citadel paint Abaddon Black. Step 2. Dry brush the whole barricade with Citadel Lead Belch and Metallic paint. If you haven't dry brushed before, it's basically getting a brush that's dry and dipping it in the paint, then removing most of that paint from the brush on another material before you apply it to the model. This picks out all the texture on a model. Step 3. I repeat the dry brushing with Citadel paint Runefang Steel, which is a lighter metallic paint than the lead belcher. Step 4. To add some dirt and grime, I use Citadel paint Rhinox Hide, and I apply this using a stippling motion to the barricade. Step 5. I use Troll Slayer Orange and very very lightly dry brush a couple of areas on the barricade to give the impression of rust. Step 6. I use Agrax Earthshade to give a few grimy streaks to simulate the weathering on the barricade. Step 7, this one's optional but I do love my blood effects. Using blood for the blood god and a fan brush, I spray some blood spatters onto the barricade. A toothbrush also works well for this. I then add some more thick areas of blood by stippling the barricade. Step 8, blend the barricade with your board. I have a muddy board so I'm using Vallejo thick European mud. This helps sell the idea that the barricade is part of the board and it hasn't just been popped down. And that's it done. Feel free to change how you paint it. This is just a quick method I have come up with that works for me. Now let's see what it looks like on the board.
Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any suggestions on future content you'd like to see, then leave a comment down below. I'm going to try a new schedule of releasing videos every Sunday, so check back on the channel on Sundays to see what nonsense I've posted. And I'll see you in a future video. Hello! What are you doing now? <laughs> if you've got any recommendations... <laughs> why are you smiling? Stop it! <laughs> You're doing this! <laughs> <laughs> Let me be creepy! <laughs> <laughs>